Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over a basic menu system and how to display it on the screen and access the different uh, pieces to it if you wanted different buttons or whatnot. So we'll just go to, into our code real quick. So we're going to need to create a variable for GUI enabled. This will make it so if the GUI is displayed on screen or not displayed on screen. So at the start of the game we're going to set that to false so it doesn't show up. In our update function we are going to add in um, if you press down the N key, it will either enable or disable the key depending on uh, what is pressed. And you can just use that simple code to do so. So, and then we go down to our on GUI function. This is where um, different things like GUI buttons and GUI labels and whatnot is handled. So if GUI is enabled, so that pretty much just means GUI enabled is true without adding equals equals true to it and then we can uh, create a simple button so it will create a GUI button it'll create a rectangle um, size is located here for the uh, length and height for it and so yeah um, this is where you want to actually display um, your GUI button on screen. So for the width, uh, we'll take the screen width, so whatever your window is adjusted to, it'll take that and divide it by two, so it'll center it. Same thing for height, so if you are creating a game where you want the user to be able to adjust the window, you don't want the GUI to get offset, so we'll just use uh, the screen to tell where where it is. So for this one, it, yeah, it divides it by 2 and then it minuses by 40 because we're going to be putting these in a, um, like a row. And yeah, so this one's by 40, 20, and that's just, yeah, normal amount. So this one will be on top, middle, and bottom. And then if we press exit, um, then it will close this whole menu. So it's pretty basic. Um, so if you click on a certain button, you can put code in here. So you can put whatever code you want. So it just says, if I clicked on this button, um, it ain't activate this code. You can make uh, different menus pop up if you wanted. So, I mean, for options, you can make a, uh, like a, um, another GUI pop up for your actual options, like for video options and stuff. You can adjust different things in game. If you want to do for audio, you can adjust the volume of uh, certain objects in your game and stuff like that. So that's pretty much the basics of a uh, standard GUI code. I might go into this a little bit more and do a more advanced one in the future with like uh, sliding buttons and um, or sliders and different buttons and stuff like that. But uh, for now, you just can uh, throw it on your main camera or whatever you want, it's probably the best to throw it on your main camera. And we can go and hit start. So if I go and press N, you'll see my little menu pops up. If I press N again, it'll go away. Same if I click exit, it'll go away. And you see how the GUI centered. If I were to, to um, adjust this screen, it would stay centered and stuff. So yeah. You can click with either the uh, left or right mouse button. Um, I would probably need to disable the ray casting for these buttons because my character moves and everything still when I click on it. But if I right click, it just uh, does that. But yeah, so that's a basic way to set up a menu. Um, you can attach different functions to when you click a button and stuff, or you can just uh, enable a different GUI to pop up and take take up the screen and uh, have different buttons in there that you can click on and adjust different settings, but that's the basics for now. I'll try doing a more advanced tutorial later, but yep. Yeah.